Welcome back to the History Fix. Last time we talked about how our species, Homo sapiens, emerged as a result of millions of years of biological evolution. And I said at the end that uh, what's characteristic of our species, or one of the things that's characteristic, is that we now adapt, we now evolve culturally rather than biologically. There haven't really been any significant changes in our biology since we emerged as a species about 120,000 years ago. Despite that, we've spread across the whole of the world, we've colonized the whole of the world, we are living in a huge range of different environments, doing a wide range of different jobs, and that's because we adapt in a cultural way. So we're going to focus on a very clear example of one of those great leaps in cultural evolution today. And it's also one of, I guess, three absolutely fundamental transformations in human uh, experience. And I'm, later on in the series, I'm going to be talking about the others. But today I'm going to focus on the first of them, and that is the agricultural revolution. Now, let me say, first of all, about the agricultural revolution, that there's nothing particularly difficult about agriculture. Um, it was already the case that when people were operating as hunters and as gatherers, um, they were already to a large degree managing the animals of the hunt. They were creating clearings, they were providing food, they were providing water, they were favoring the young animals because they didn't want to destroy uh, the herds on which they were dependent. So there was already a degree to which the wild animals were being managed. So the shift to domestication of animals was not a major leap. Equally, it's the case that people would have observed many, many times uh, that where seeds are sown, plants will then grow. That's not rocket science in prehistory. It wasn't that people didn't know how to sow seeds to grow plants. It wasn't that people didn't know how they might domesticate um, animals. It was that agriculture was very, very hard work compared with just going out into the environment and gathering what you needed and hunting the animals that are already there. The transition to agriculture takes place under uh, the stress of climate change about 20,000 years ago when the last of the great ice ages comes to an end and the planet begins to warm up. Now, the warming up of the planet means different things in different places. Um, and in some places, people can continue to adapt to a new kind of hunting and gathering. That's the case initially in large parts of northern Europe, for example, um, where the, the warming up of the planet means that you get uh, the landscape covered in thick forest. But there are lots of resources in the forest that you can exploit. So different techniques, different tool technologies, different ways of organizing to gather the things that you need, but still essentially you're gatherers and you are hunters. But there are other parts of the world where the drying out, the warming up, the desiccation means that the natural abundance which had once been there is no longer available. And where there is water, where it's possible to grow plants, where it's possible for animals to survive, those areas are becoming more restricted. And that creates a population uh, pressure. It creates a pressure on resources. And it's in those areas, around about 10,000 uh, years ago, in parts of Central Asia, in parts of the uh, Middle East, around about 10,000 years ago, that we see the first agricultural communities. The first communities where what's happening is this. Instead of people moving around in a hunter-gatherer band across the landscape, what they're doing is they're settling down in one place, they're building a village, they're domesticating animals, they're encouraging those animals to breed, um, they're managing the grazing of those animals, so there's, you've got a development of sort of the use of pasture, 
um, and they're also clearing fields, they're, they're clearing the trees and the vegetation, and they are then um, engaging in a kind of hoe-based uh, cultivation. They're not yet using the plough, it's a fairly simple kind of agriculture, but they are creating fields and they are sowing seeds and they are harvesting the crops. It's hard work. Hard work clearing the land. Hard work in some places draining the land or irrigating the land. Hard work keeping predators um, off the land. Hard work weeding so that the crops that you want to grow are free to grow. Hard work harvesting and then of course processing the crops and so on. Uh, a much higher investment of labour is necessary with agriculture than with hunting and gathering. So people have to be forced to do it um, under pressure. But then something interesting begins to happen. This cultural revolution, the agricultural revolution, this transformation really of the way in which human beings are creating the resources that they need in some parts of the world, but it's not everywhere until I mean, even as late as the 20th century, there were some places where they were still hunting and gathering. So this is a very long, drawn-out process. But it's starting in some places about um, 10,000 uh, years ago. What this means, um, of course, is that it becomes possible because the land is now much more productive. You're deliberately sowing the crops that you want to grow. Um, you're uh, increasing the number of animals that you have available, more food is actually being generated, more investment is being made in terms of labour, and therefore more food is being created. You're beginning to create a surplus, which means the population can expand. And very quickly, after the beginning of the agricultural uh, revolution, we have more people around supported uh, from the fruits of agriculture than could now be supported naturally if they tried to revert to a hunting, gathering way of living. A much larger population is now being supported by the new uh, technology of the agricultural revolution, which means agriculture is a kind of trap that once people have adopted an agricultural way of living, they are stuck with it. Uh, and they have to continue operating in that way. And there's one other thing about it, which will lead us into what we're going to talk about next time. You're creating more food uh, than was the case when you were hunting and gathering. Agriculture creates a surplus, and that surplus can be used to expand the population, but that surplus continues to grow as the population grows and more land is brought into cultivation and the herds and the flocks, they increase in numbers, that surplus can also be used in other ways. It can create the basis of another great cultural transformation. And that is to do with the emergence of social classes. We'll talk about that next time. We are facing the greatest crisis in the history of humanity. Capitalism is driving us towards climate catastrophe. To understand how we got here and how we get out of it, we really need to understand human history. What we're trying to do here at The History Fix is to give us the understanding of the past that we need to equip us to fight for a better future. If you like what we're doing, please share and subscribe and also contribute to our Patreon page. Thanks very much.